Hi, I'm George, and we'll be doing an Affinity Photo change color of object here. In this case, we'll change this jacket to a blue color. And the first thing I always like to do is just to save the image. This is a JPEG image. I save it as an Affinity Photo image. Let's just go up here to File and Save. I've already done that, so just do a File Save and save it as the Affinity Photo. That way you get to save all of your layers and everything else. Next, let's make a copy of our background layer. Just right click over here and come down and choose Duplicate right there. And then hide the original. That's just a safety. In case anything goes wrong, we can always go back to that original right here. And I think I'll just click on the auto levels up here and improve our picture a little bit. That looks a lot better. Okay, we're now ready to begin working on changing this jacket. Now the first thing we need to do is to make a selection around the jacket. I'll just use this tool right here. This is the selection brush tool. You see there's our brush size. You can make it larger or smaller with these square brackets. I'll go on the left bracket and smaller. And then just paint into the area that you want to change. It just makes that as a selection. I have mine set to snap to edges so it's automatically finding the edges of that jacket as I go through here. We'll need to clean this edge up a little bit but that's okay. It's an easy process. There we go. Okay, that's all done. Now, this area in here should not be here, so I'll hold the Alt key down and click into that. That takes that out. Same thing down here, Alt key and click into there. That removes that and that little bit right in there. And come back without the Alt key. I'm just trying to refine that section. Go a little bit smaller in here, Alt key and right in there. And there we go, that's nice and clean. Okay, a little bit larger on the brush again. Let's now refine our edge. Go up here to refine. And there's our refined edge. I have mine set for overlay. This is kind of a red coloration in here. And then come in and just brush into the areas that you want Affinity Photo to refigure. And it'll do a much cleaner job on that. There we go. Let's pull into here a little bit. And that just cleans up that hair. It may take a few passes to get it just exactly right. But that's okay. Just take your time. There we go. And if you want to remove something which shouldn't be in here, click like that and it should take care of it. It should do a pretty good job. Okay, found all of those. And right out here on that edge, let's see if we can get that bit of hair out right there. Okay, that all looks fine. I'm going to bring the brush size a little bit smaller here. And let's just tap into these buttons as well and get those cleaned out. There we go. Just click on each one of those to remove those from the mask. There we go. And the final one. Okay, there's our basic selection. Let's now save this out. Go over here, it says Selection, and changes to New Layer with Mask. Choose Apply, and here's our new layer. And there it is. There's the layer with that mask on it. Now, you may have some little problems, like right up in here. We can clean that out. Just go over here, click on that arrow that opens up the mask. Click on the mask icon itself, and Black Hides, White Shows. So I'll grab the paintbrush over here, and let's go over to our color swatches. I already have black as my foreground color, and I can just come in here and just paint right onto that layer mask like that. Just come in here and do it carefully. Just paint right on the layer mask and clean out those little bits that shouldn't be there. Okay, that looks fine. Now we can actually change the color. Go up here to the top layer where it says pixel, and let's change our color. Change this down here to colors. Notice choose that one right there. Just a nice kind of a blue color in here. I'm still on the paintbrush, and now I can just paint like this, just right over that. The mask controls where that paint goes. So I'm going to be real sloppy on this painting technique as you can see here. There we go. Pretty easy to do. And there it is. We've now changed or replaced the jacket coloration with this light blue color. Okay. Now all we need to do is just to blend this in with the color in behind. And that's right here where it says normal. These are the blend modes in here. A lot of different blend modes. But I'll scroll down here. The one I want is hue. That just changes the color in this show our background right there and there we go we now have a recolored jacket let's just hide that layer there it is before and there it is after with our new jacket color now that was a straight color change you can do other stuff as well with those blend modes just go over here let's just click clear to the top if you roll over these you'll see what the blend mode does i'm just i'm not clicking when it's rolling it over that's kind of actually nice i like that one there's a multiply look color burn there's a linear darker color some work as you can see some don't it depends upon what the color is, what the effect is. But you might find something in here which you actually like quite a bit just by going through and trying different ones of these blend modes. Again, I'm just rolling through here and just seeing what we get. Looks kind of fun. There's that hue again. Here's just a saturation change, color, and luminosity. There's a color one, and there's a hue. Hue is a more natural color. It's a 
harder look on that. I'll stick with the hue effect. So there we go. That is how to change the color of an object here in Affinity Photo. And I'll see you next time.